Hello everyone, welcome to the new Vue.js tutorial. So I again welcome you all to the new Vue.js tutorial. And today we are going to build a date picker and a time picker in Vue.js. So let's get started with today's tutorial. So in our three files, this is the official website of Vue.js. You can copy the CDN from here. Then you have bootstrap page. Then this is the our app directory. So these are the two files, app.html and app.js. So we will be linking app.html to app.js and then we would build our time picker then again, then after that we will see the date picker. So very two important components and these are very useful when we are opting for a slot scheduling or scheduling or something using a time or a date. So they are very helpful so we can get start with our tutorial now. So before that we can move to the bootstrap page inside the star starter template we can click on right side copy we can copy this html and paste it here you can remove this option too since this is not needed and then we can also remove this comments as well and we can uh, save this and when we click on app.html we can see this page is perfectly working fine and we have a h1 heading then after this what we can do we need to add the cdn okay we will copy the cdn and we can paste it here and this is perfectly and when we refresh this page or control shift i we can take inspect element and we can see on console that you are running a development build of view and this is what we need it as per our uh, as per our desiration that we needed view to run a, a development mode uh, development mode is a little bit different from the, the production mode that it gives us the warnings and console logs so that is helpful for us while building an application but if you want something very very much optimized then you should use production after the development that should be after the development now we can uh, move to our page and we can change the title we can change this to view date date picker and time picker so this is perfectly fine and we can add a script below that script source is equal to app.js perfectly fine and we can close this script tag and inside app.js okay i'll remove this for a time being and i can simply type console.log uh, so i uh, uh, i'll type console.log script started okay so when we refresh this page yeah so here you can see the script has started and plus we have built the page now what we can do we can first create our app component so this this constant my app so this is my component component yeah perfectly fine this would be a json object and what i'll do constant my app is equal to view dot create app my component dot mount so i'll use dot mount for this and what i'll do i use dot mount and i'll use hash my app and this would here you can see that okay fail to mount an app target select a hash my app well this would be failure uh, because uh, i have not defined a i'll remove this heading and i'll not define a div here right now so div id is equal to my app and i would close this close this div and i would refresh this page now here you can see and i'll type my app dot data okay i'll put a dollar sign so so till now uh, what i want to show you that uh, since that we don't have any data that would be an empty object but this recognize as my app okay so it has all the view components like uh, attributes and methods so what we defined here at the line number seven so this is perfectly fine now what we can do we need can define a data a methods is given by a json object so that would be empty we are not defining any methods and data would be an, a data constructor and we need to return 
return a json object and then uh, what we do return a json object and we we'll de define my time uh, we can define this as a null component and my date as a null component too so this is perfectly fine and let me refresh the page i got this at error line number though syntax error okay so app.js line number five column number 15 okay okay i had a semicolon before the return statement so that would run for the issue so let me close this and refresh the page so i have something good so why my app dollar data so now you can see that this is our data and it has two target values that is my time and my date which are initially null so let's bind them using time picker so now i have input type is equal to time and then perfectly fine and then i'll type my time value but this won't work because i have to bind this using v model is equal to my time so let's close this page and okay i'll put this inside the h1 tag okay sorry for the mistake h1 tag and uh, yes my time now i'll refresh this page perfectly fine now using the arrow keys since this i'm using firefox so you can change the time and then you can change the minutes now when i choose am this is a good this is am and when i choose pm it automatically changes to 14 when i make this as a change dynamically updated and i'll use am now so this works perfectly fine so this is how the time picker works uh this is how time picker works and i'll comment this out now since we don't uh, we'll move to the date picker for date picker what you can do input type is equal to date and v model i'll model this with my date and i'll close this tag and inside the h1 tag h1 i'll give my date and close this okay now when i refresh the page i'll choose choose a date so here i see when i choose a date perfectly fine i can choose the year and a month so this changes and as the date also changes so month changes perfectly dynamically updating so everything is updated dynamically and this is how we build a date picker and time picker so thank you everyone for watching this tutorial I'll come up with few more uh, tricks and tips in the upcoming tutorial. So thank you everyone for watching using UJS.